Hello everyone, and thanks again for joining in. Uh, picking up right from where we left off, we're uh, going to try to get some spare parts for uh, upgrading our weapon system as well as our Buster Cannon. Uh, last episode showed us that we're severely underpowered, and that's what we're going to focus in on today. Wait a minute, Mega Man. Of course, there's gonna going to be a lot of dialogue. So, bear with me. Look, Mega Man. I fixed the car the junk shop owner gave us. I may not have been able to get it fixed in time to help you before, but next time, you can count on me. No, I don't see how that's possible. When did she have time? There goes the inspector and his men off to get the pirate. I wonder if he'll be all right. Hmm. If they're using weapons like they did before, the inspector might have some trouble. Not to mention... Not to mention that the pirates are likely to steal everything if they get there first. Well, I think I better go help them. Be careful, Mega Man. I'll wait for you in the car. If you find some parts that you think might be useful, bring them back to me. I'll get them fixed up and attach them for you. Right. And there's <laughs> so much talking. Oh, man. Okay. Hopefully, we won't have a cutscene for a while. Because I do feel like they are really pushing the... <laughs> the limit of how much dialogue there is like it's kind of amazing how much there is uh, a, you know drastic difference between like like I said last episode uh, Mega Man and uh, Ocarina of Time we're going to quickly save and I believe what just happened with like Mega Man said he was going to go help the inspector. That leads to the boss fight that I was worried about last episode. And maybe that's the reason why I struggled with it as a kid. Because I like immediately went into it. But I mean I'm pretty sure that we have to like upgrade ourselves at some point. Um, and I believe that this actually... Oh Jesus Christ. Who... No one's going to do anything. This is clearly a hit and run. I believe that this storm drain takes us down. Oh yeah, quickly down to the bottom here. Oh, this might be the ledge that we uh, saw in the first episode. Yeah, we already have uh, stuff on our mini map, so we've definitely been here before. Um, I believe if we come this way, yeah. I believe that there's like multiple dig sites around the the island. So we might have to and I think it's like you uh get different licenses depending on uh where you need to go. So like last episode we got a class B. I think you know you get higher classes as you unlock more things. I don't really see uh I don't know, I just... Okay, I guess it's decoration. It sticks out from the whole wall, so I, of course I immediately notice it. But we can't go that way. But we can eventually get a an upgrade for that. I don't know... I'm sure that there's more to this than the... Uh, it's like the introduction... So yeah, last episode, uh, hope everyone enjoyed it because it was, uh, at certain points a little stressful. It's kind of crazy how, I don't know, I feel like that, that was way too much stuff way too early on. Like, for the fact that you probably haven't really explored, you probably really haven't upgraded, and the fact that they make you do, like, 
how many different things back to back. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's kind of off-putting, you know? You don't really have a slow build-up. Oh, Jesus. As much as I love this game, there are, of course, flaws. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. I've, I've always wanted to play the sequel, but I actually uh, never really got around to it. I think I started it once or twice, but didn't make it very far. I'm curious to know how it compares. Oh, this is it. Okay. So for right now, not really much to this, uh, I almost call it a dungeon. This, uh, I don't even know what you call it, dig site? We're gonna have to read that every time we get a buster part. Really hope not. Oh, that's right. I think we can eventually get Maybe we get more upgrades to like allow us to equip more parts. I know that's like a thing, it's like it's a balancing. If you get different parts that have multiple things. I think that's it, right? I feel like that's all that's down here. Well, that only means that we can uh, potentially go to another dig site. Because I know... I think we come this way? Oh no, they're going to keep me from like leaving the city. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, that's my plan. I'm actually going to go get some upgrades before helping out. I was a little worried at first that he was going to, like, keep me from, uh, like, going anywhere. Which, is that the case, that would be a real pain. This is kind of a weird spot for you. Oh. Okay. That's kind of a... Oh, wow. <laughs> like right here? Like right around this little hill? I only played it, uh, I'm pretty sure I only played it once as a kid. It's like, I feel like I remember a lot, but I'm sure there's going to be a bunch that I don't remember. You know, it's a little cheaty, but I'll take it. like really any way for me to get up there right now not without my upgraded legs
Wow, that was a pretty long-lasting explosion. Came in here blasting away, not really taking a minute to see what this is. Beautiful. Oh my god. Run, 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 run! Okay. I don't know what this guy's about. Is he digging or... That's close. Way too close for comfort. <laughs> I don't know what the the point of this guy. Uh, how did he go over that? Call him bogus. I destroy this guy? Sorry for like the weird camera shake. For some reason I can't run straight and shoot at the same time. Oh nice. What? He didn't like give me anything. He didn't even I mean I guess money's always nice, but Man, did I expect, like, I don't know, something a lot more than that. That, that took a minute. Before I forget to do it, can I? No. I'm trying to see if there's like any options for volume adjustment. I feel like there are points like watching it back that the music was like incredibly loud, but the dialogue was so quiet. Man, there's so many chests in here, but I don't think I can reach them, any of them. Ooh, this might be the way to do it. If I can, uh, you know, actually hit some of them. that like you don't get any money hardly because uh I mean I don't want to take time collecting money when uh you know there's still enemies chasing after me and these guys like give nothing okay well at least okay first chest we can open it was just money 
Which, I mean, I, I can't remember how much of the junk man comes into play. That might be like a bigger role than I'm remembering for them. Maybe you do get a lot more stuff from there. No, oh, screw it. Don't blow up anyway. Bypass him. Oh, this is like at the beginning, isn't it? Well, at least it loops back in around itself so we can get out quickly if we want. A buster unit. Now, is that a buster part? Yeah. Ooh. Perfect. See, just like that, how it did uh, multiple things. And I want to say that I can't remember if it's a legitimate thing you get. Because, I mean, it'd be kind of game breaking. Or maybe you get it at the end when it doesn't matter. But I want to say there's like a hidden uh, part that like increases everything to the fullest extent. Okay, well, didn't really find as much stuff as I was hoping. Oh, oh, there's another chest. Okay, it's like because I remember finding like. Man, those explosions stick around for, for way longer than I expect them to. Well. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Huh, okay. I think... I think if we... Not necessarily backtrack, but if we come back around where that huge hulking monster was, there was another door we didn't go through. I know, there was just a wall that apparently I didn't pay attention to. Okay, never mind. Huh, okay, so that's like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did we just make a huge loop? Are these actually... I don't remember this, but... Oh, there's a zoom-in function. Are these <laughs> dig sites all one site, but they're just kind of interconnected? I guess so, right? Because, yeah, we just come down here. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, I didn't loop back the way I thought it did. Um. I guess we could either go back and explore, try to find another ruin, or, since we're right here, we could go ahead and uh, talk to the junk shop people because they might might have something for us. Well, I thought, you know, might sell me something, but parts. Ooh, okay. There's actually good bit of stuff. Okay, let's get the life gauge. Get an energy canteen. And we have plenty, so let's go ahead and get a flak jacket. Nice, okay.
How did that? Yeah, I think I could sell these. So I'm guessing that shield repair is like a... Yeah, okay. Special items. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So we're a little bit more upgraded. What are you doing in here? Mm-hmm. See how they're not being tossed out. Yeah, I think the best thing to do, especially since uh, we have some more time to kill uh, before the next episode. I don't want to trigger an event or I have to fight something that's probably going to take me multiple, multiple times. I actually ended up not cutting out as much as I thought. I thought I might only cut it down to where, you know, I got it on the first try with the bosses, but I don't know. It just, when I tried to do it, the flow was kind of weird. I kind of don't want to mess it up too much and have it not make sense. So <laughs> I thought, you know, sometimes the bloopers are a little funny. So I left, you know, me blowing myself up. That, uh, doesn't sound good. That very much sounds like battle music. I don't know why. Oh. Huh. Is it just that it's letting you know that there are enemies nearby? Because I don't think... I think the whole thing was at the north gate, and I think we technically went south? If I vaguely remember, I think you end up ramming that with the car. Something tells me that's not for now. That's going to be something later. And jump over that potentially? No, of course not. It's a weird <laughs> little design. Okay, is there really anything over here? Or did we just come mess with the pirates for no apparent reason? Che, I'm fine with. They caused me a lot of grief last episode. So I am more than happy <laughs> to give it right back. Okay, let's come down here once again. Just make sure we... Uh... Or thorough. Might be nice to like kind of fill in the map. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like it fills in as you walk around. So if you don't walk around the walls, it doesn't like fill it out properly. So you can kind of lose track of where you've been and where you're going because the walls aren't like properly filled in. Let's just if we just beeline it, they can't catch us. Easy. Easy. And it stand a chance. Um yeah, I think that's just loops but round, right? this the guy? Is he gone? Oh, that's what he blew up. I was like, these weren't here before, but yeah, he, that must be the things he blew up. Oh, God, he is back. Oh, God, that scared me. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think there's a reason to take him out again, right? Yeah, that just makes a big loop. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, well, our running tactic it won't work if we uh, can't physically fit around them. That works too. That should just always come guns a blazing. Alright, wrong button. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I don't think that there's anything else we can do. Alright, because I don't think... It didn't look like there was anything in here that we missed. Ooh, there's a hole in the wall. Yeah, there we go. Those are the parts I was talking about. So, uh... All we need to do now is, uh, find a bunch more stuff. And then we can start asking Roll if she can, uh build us anything. Yeah, I don't think I knew for quite a while that those holes, like, signify anything, just for the fact that they're like, you know, that almost looks like part of the texture. Like, why would you go, uh, go interact with it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it was actually kind of surprising figuring that one out. Okay. So yeah, we're back at the beginning. So, fortunately, right, because, so those are the same. It seems like we can't, why did I do that? I should have went the other direction. Seems like those are the only ones we have access to. So, oh, if there's any more dick spots around here, I guess we could talk to Roll really quickly. Okay. Well, okay. We should have known that our uh, one shield wouldn't have been enough. Mm-hmm. definitely want more, seeing how we tend to run out. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and increase the attack. Oh, really? That's it? We already uh, fully maxed it out? Okay, cool. Let me talk to my good, good friend Data. Go ahead and save. Just for fun, tell me what should I be doing? Gas planes. Is that whatever is north of a? I do that all the time. 
Yeah, that is what's whatever is uh, north. Okay, but maybe we can explore around the city for a little bit before we call it quits because we are nearing our time. Um, I don't know if the east and west gates have opened up. They were kind of locked off to us originally. But have progressed. So I imagine that uh, there's at least a possibility that we could do something. Ooh. Sorry about that building. I'm sure some people <laughs> lost their homes. I don't know I'm laughing at that because uh, if this was a video game that'd actually be very tragic. Oh, okay. And what about the east gate? I feel like they're trying to like funnel you into the right areas. Like they don't want you to have like fully open world experience yet. Yeah. I don't know if the houses ever get rebuilt. I know that there is like a very soft karma system and if you do I don't think there's like a whole lot you can do to affect it but I think if you um I don't I mean there's only like a couple things that I can think of that might affect your karma like I know there's like a bank robbery side quest if you, I don't even know if you would call it a side quest, kind of like just a little side thing you can do. Um, but if you take the money, it turns your armor dark. So I think it's like the karma system affects the color of your armor. But I don't think that there's like, you know, anything beyond that that happens. I don't even know if there's a reason to be in here. Don't. I, I'm honestly a little afraid to go to the north gate just because of what might happen, but don't know if uh, kind of like have a buffer zone. Might as well, let's check it out. Hey, here comes somebody else. Yep. He doesn't look like a police officer. Hey, it's that blue guy again. We'll show him just like we showed that officer. We ain't gonna lose this time. Okay, well that seems like a good point to pick up from next time. So I'm going to call it quits here while I still am under my time limit and we'll pick up right where the action starts off once again in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.